ambush on the way to Weathertop. Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wild. And today we have episode number 172 of the Middle Earth Grand Campaign, and it is Ambush on the Way to Weathertop. This scenario uh, was originally released for Games Workshop stores to um, to basically have a participation game mm -hmm. uh, in stores. So um, do take this scenario with a pinch of salt. I don't think that there has been that much work gone into into this scenario, uh, and the victory conditions uh, also tell a story yep. on that because it is. I I think it's like twenty people around the table. It's fifteen southerners. It's Aragorn, the four hobbits. Uh, each controlling one model, yep. and the game lasts for an hour or until one player, well, one side has managed their objective. Yep. So um, I, I'm, I'm not expecting that much, no. but it's, it's. Not, I think it's nice to include these kinds of scenarios just to, just to get the look back on on the way things were before, mm -hmm. as well as just get a more complete story, yep. uh, not just have. Uh, the scenario on, on, on Buckleberry Ferry and then boom immediately to yep. um, to to Amon Hen. Mm. So get a few scenarios in between. Mm. Yes. So not much more to say, uh, I think. So we'll mm -hmm. just go straight ahead into the game and uh, show you the board and the models after this. Dark things are once again roaming the land. Strangers threaten the innocent and the ranger who once protected these fair borders seem to have disappeared. On the way to the once glorious watchtower of Amon Sul, Aragorn leads the hobbits through the paths avoided by the fair people of Middle-earth. After a small break, the journey once again continues. However, paths avoided by the fair folk are often a thoroughfare for the more foul people of the world. And so begins the battle. Aragorn and the Hobbits are on their way to Weathertop to meet up with Gandalf as they suspect the Grey Wizard has taken up um, residence there for the time being. But on the rocky path they are waylaid by a horde of Southerners. Nothing more than the, the point that they are Southerners are, uh, are noted by, by Tolkien if this is an excerpt from the, uh, from the book at all. Uh, but obviously anything that's south of a certain point is a southerner. So to use um, that's basically everything is south runs. Uh, yeah. So Eastlings are everything east. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, and uh, and we've used just the Dunlendings for these as uh, as that was the more easy option. They so, look more like Northlendings. Northlendings, yeah. Well, geography. So, um, basically, what is happening here is that um, my goal is to kill Frodo. Uh, your goal is to escape with Frodo off any table edge. Um, or until the battle lasts for an hour. So, this is obviously a scenario written for Games Workshop stores. Uh, to, to have a small, like, Saturday scenario for people to play. Nothing more to do then, while, wow, but good luck. Good luck. And, uh, oh, you're, you're timing this as well. Yeah, so, we started. <laughs> uh, do I start with priority or? Yes, normal, normal rule supply. Mm -hmm. So, let's. Uh... Surge Force with Samwise? Yeah, 
Yeah. And then put on the ring. Frodo pops on the ring. Do I need to take a courage test for that? Uh, I do believe, yes, you have to, yeah. Mm. He has passed. So Frodo now has the ring. Yes. And then Aragorn. And three. So which rules are we playing with? Old rules. Old rules. So I can. So there's no penalty to shooting. Correct. So he's moved three. So you you just turned around, or yeah. were you going that direction? It doesn't really matter. No, I no. Can escape. <laughs> for, yeah, the, that, yeah. for the narrative yeah. purpose. Yeah. yeah. So we were going this direction because Aragorn was uh, guarding the rear. Yeah, indeed. So uh, I will move, and we'll come back. So the Southerner's noose is tightening around the Hobbits and the Ranger. So we have um, Merry, Pippin and uh, Sam sauntering forwards with Frodo wearing the ring in the middle. Aragorn has moved only three inches and will be able to shoot with his strength two bow, which means he'll wound the normal Southerners on fives and the ones with shields on sixes. He hasn't used his free might yet, so that's still available. So shoot. Shot. On the guy with the shield. Yeah. He missed. And a point of point of might. Point of might. Yeah. Because, because it's free. And oh! it's free dead. <laughs> oh lucky. Yeah. Fourteen to go. Mm-hmm. So I will shoot back. So this southerner will shoot um Pippin in the back. Uh, what's my shoot value at? It's a five plus. Wow. They are crappy shots. So this southerner will shoot at um, Pippin. No. Uh, this southerner will shoot at Merry. No. This southerner will shoot at Merry as well. No. Uh, this southerner will shoot at Pippin. No. And the last southerner with bow will shoot at Merry. Yes, it's. Uh, string two against defense three, so that's fives. No wound. Nothing. Okay. Priority. Uh, priority, indeed. Goes to me. So you can, of course, call your free heroic if you want to. The problem is I can't get around. Can I? I can't move through the guy wearing the ring. Uh, yes, you can. Okay, so I could actually charge him. Frodo is basically not there. Okay, so I'll call a heroic move. With mm -hmm. Aragorn. Yeah, I can't do anything to counter that. Uh, you can't get into contact with both, though. No. no. I can charge. Charging there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And remember, if you if you are in combat with Frodo, um, the opponent's fight value is halved. Ooh. So the sudden earth have a fight value of three, which would be come two uh, with um, with that, and Merry and Pippin both have fight value three, as have uh, Sam. So you could basically get everyone. I don't think he was. It was hard measuring holding the camera, mm -hmm. so I can't remember what I did. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Just no, he won't. No, <laughs> he'll just stand there. Yeah. yeah okay. I think. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know if I could, was able to. So let's just get these guys forward. If the unimaginable happens and I manage to. No. Nope. So he'll go on Aragon to stop you doing a road combat. Well, maybe stop you doing a road combat. He'll go three forwards and shoot Mary in the back. He'll go three forwards and shoot Mary in the back. He'll go three forwards and shoot Mary in the back. And he'll go to there because then he's not blocking anyone. This one can't really shoot at anything, so he'll just move six. And this guy will just stand still and shoot at Mary. So. So that should be one, two, three, four shots at Mary. Mm -hmm. mm, come on! One hit! Needing a five to wound. A wound. And fails his fate, which means that Mary is gone. He can spend a point of might. He doesn't have any. 
Oh, it's just not. I thought no. you said two, two. No, two, two, two is uh, is Sam. Oh, it's Sam. Okay. Mm. So Mary has been wounded. Interesting. Well, he's dead. Well, removed from the table at least. Mm. Okay, um, Aragorn. He's got three might. Three might. I'll call her a combat Correct. for them. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll shield. Staying in the bar out of five. You get a six. You win it. You need five to wound. One. So you need to spend all the rest of your might to kill the I last one. I won't do that. You won't do that. Okay. And then these guys. Yeah. Um, so Sam and Frodo have might. And they have one attack each. Yeah. Uh, ooh, I think Sam has maybe two attacks. Let's Pippin. Gets a five. Sam has got one attack. Frodo. Four. And two attacks for Sam. One attack. One. So I get a four, so you win. Mm -hmm. And he's trapped. Very trapped. Uh, Sam's got a strength of three, I believe. But he's dead on double sixes. He is. He is indeed. Oh, he's got a strength of two anyway. Poof. Mm. Mm -hmm. So... Priority. Yeah. Your stew. Mm -hmm. Just can't reach. You will be able to get into him. Argon could charge the two that could get in though. But then you can get that guy around and trap. Yeah. Aragon. Yes. It's eminently possible. So he'll just stand in the way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Right. So we need to attack Aragon with at least one. So I'll do that with an archer. Who and then I can attack Pippin with him. That's all the ones I'm getting in though, so I'm not getting in the rest. Yeah, and I'm not getting any shooting done, so I'll just move these guys up. Uh, my archer will my archer will attack no I won't I'll just shoot yeah I'll just shoot instead so shooting from the Dunlending Archer or Southerner Archer on Sam. It's yes. a miss. And it's then we go in combat. Yes, I'll call a heroic combat. With your free point of might. With my free point of might. It's a one, so you win automatically. You need fours to wound. That's a dead, dead guy, yeah. Don't have to go in a straight line. No. Or I could go straight through. through Frodo, yeah. So I'm kind of like, I don't need Pippin to win this. <laughs> okay, should we do Pippin first? Yeah. Yeah. I win. And winning on fours. No, no wound. They can hold his own. And Aragorn versus Archer. Aragorn wins and kills him on a four. He does. So it's a clear path, but sadly the hobbits only move to uh, two inches less than, than mine. We do get priority again. Well.
Pippin goes away. Because that guy can charge. Hmm. So you're, you're disregarding Pippin's safety. Well, Pippin can hold his own. He'll sing some songs. Yeah. Go into Aragorn because he'll just throw a combat. There we go. So I think you got two more turns before the game is over. Yeah, and we're on 47 minutes left. I think we should be fine for time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's actually three turns. Ooh. Eight and a half inch to get off. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pippin. Yes. Boom. I win. Needing a four to wound. No! Can't do it. And he gets closer to the edge. Yes. Priority. Yes. Goes to you again. Damn it. Hands. How many do you think Aragon can take? All of them. <laughs> you just need to roll the six. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, okay. Come around. I think you can charge Sam. Yeah, you can charge Sam with one. Because yeah, I, I would need to roll a courage test with him minus five to charge Frodo, so it wouldn't be like possible. <laughs> like possible. <laughs> so we're charging Sam there. We're moving him up. Can I charge there? No. But I'll move him. I'll move a couple of guys up. In case I get priority, because you're out of heroic move range. Well, at the moment, I have might on Frodo and Sam. Yes, you do actually. So, so let's kill Aragorn. Yeah. So yeah. we start with uh, Sam. We can start off with Sam. Yeah. You got a mighty two. Yeah. I get a mighty five. Uh, four plus. Yeah. Wound. He's got two fate. That's fate. Second fate, throw. but he has got two wounds though. Yeah. So he's down to one wound, no fates. Mm -hmm. And then Aragorn, I'll just roll all my dice first because I have the lower fight value. It is a six. Aragorn gets a five. And point of might. Point of might. So you win. Uh, you can try to kill all of the archers on force. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. We kill two of them. So that was the three points of might? Uh, yes, it was. So you're still on two points might in the store. Yep. Mm. And actually Sam has to be one inch further up. Yeah. So he actually gets out this turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. You get it again. I think the game is over. Well, you could probably charge. Because he'll only get to there. Yeah, but I need to roll the courage test though. He gets out. Yeah. <laughs> and Pippin is just escaping. Yeah. Yeah. I'll have to try though. No. I'll only be able to charge those two. Mm -hmm. So that is a minus four. Minus four. And a He's minus got five. He's a courage value of three, so I need to roll a 11. Yeah, so, yeah. 11. Yeah. Yeah, and then he's got minus five, so twelve, double so sixes. Yeah. Oh! Really? Oh! Nope. So, nope. do you want to. Well. They, they can't move. Well, and he's up next turn. Yeah, and then we just put one in for Aragorn. 
There we go, and he'll just go up, up yeah. the road a bit. So do they all? No, he. They just failed. Just the one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, five against Aragorn. No, oh, come on. That's a bad roll. So you win. And you can try to kill the archer first on the four. So one archer. Mm hmm. It's dead. And two sixes now. One, one of the other guys is dead. So Aragorn has managed to slay uh, eight Dunlendings. And priority. And it goes to me. I'll use a bundle of mine to heroic move. Yeah. So Frodo is off the board, and that is the game. Well, it's a still combat here. Yeah, for the, for the turn, yeah. So Pippin can also escape if you want to. Yes. I can't do anything he'll, to stop him. He'll run out, yeah. and then. Oh. I can only charge one guy. Mm. Come at me. Come at you. Okay. I'll do that. Let's see how many you kill. They all get shields, so these guys uh, abandon the escape, uh, abandon the pursuit. So I'll, I'll let him. They can't I'll, see. I'll let them get in. Okay. Uh, Actually, you had. Mm, you could have charged. It doesn't really matter. It could. was your move. Your, oh, yeah, yeah. your priority. It doesn't, doesn't matter. <laughs> I get a six though. We're just rolling dice for the sake of rolling dice. Yeah, and you get it. So can we kill three of them with three fives or sixes? Uh, you can kill two of them. And I'll spend a point of might. Yeah. The free point of might. So <laughs> I kill three of them. So that is Aragorn handling 12 done lendings, and the rest of them flee for their lives. Yeah. <laughs> Short and sweet scenario. Um, I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if the ring should be involved here. We've spent 20 minutes on this game, including the introduction. I don't yeah. know if the ring should be allowed no. in this one. I think that makes it very, very hard for, for the evil player because you can go off in any direction and I don't have enough models to cover all escapes. Yep. But we'll discuss a bit and come back with the rest of our thoughts in the post-battle battery breakdown. All right, so welcome back to the post-battle battery breakdown. And, uh, and yeah, it's, it's a simple scenario yep. designed for uh, participation gaming installs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. flinging dice, having a laugh. Yeah. Let us know how you fare when you play this with twenty people, controlling one mini each. <laughs> that might be more fun. Yeah, I think Maybe. so. Um, yeah. Everyone has their own actions. I, I do believe the fellowship would have won more easily if everyone controlled Probably. their own model. Probably. Yeah. Or if one just goes Leroy Jenkins and. Walks Frodo into combat directly, yeah, and not let Frodo put on the ring. Not put. On. Yeah, I think that would yeah. be changing. If we if we were to play this one again, I think not letting Frodo put on the ring would be a better it way to do it. Wouldn't change the outcome in the end. I think mm. that much. Well, you wouldn't have been able to charge with Aragorn. No, oh, I wouldn't have him. thrown it. No. Oh yeah. 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 I so, don't think it's. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. It's hard to say. Let us know how you fare when you play it. When you play it with twenty people. Yeah. Yeah, or when you play it without the. Ring without ring rule. Yeah. Ring rules. Mm. Uh, but yeah, next week we have a another small scenario. Um, it is Pursuit of the Ring Rates, uh, published in Battle Games in Middle Earth number three. So one of the very early uh, Battle Games in Middle Earth magazines. So um, so it'll be nice to see. I think this bridges uh, the gap between um, what's happened uh, in the previous this scenario and Almonhen. Yeah. Uh, basically. Hmm. So look out for that one next week. But until then, I've been Andreas the Norwegian Viking. And while. And this was episode 172 of the Middle Earth Grand Campaign. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And please consider supporting us on Patreon using the links in the description below. It's a great way for you to support what we do here at the studio. And it means a lot to us. So thank you to all our past, present, and future Patreons. And as always, support your hobby.